the life you want from me and I show it to you Not different from anyone Not better but I wish I was Just give me the lines you need to read and I'll say them From everything I've seen There's no more mystery Don't tell me I had that on the whole time Hi loves, welcome to my channel and to another clean with me video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Hope you've had a great week. I have lots and lots of cleaning motivation for you. I had quite a lot to do around the house but I didn't have that much time for cleaning. So I thought I would try setting a timer and see how much I get done. I hear everyone on YouTube saying it's amazing how much you can actually get done when you work as fast as possible. So I thought I'm going to give it a try. Hope you enjoy watching and if you do please like the video, it helps me create more videos like this for you. I'm starting in the bedroom, I only set myself 10 minutes here as I only wanted to dust the bedside tables and get the bedding off the bed so I can put it in the wash. I picked everything off the bedside tables and I'm taking my fluffy flash duster which is ideal for a quick dusting around your home. Then I'm going to take the bed sheets off and pop them in the wash. It is a lovely sunny day so it will dry very fast in the sun. I'm going to quickly put the bed sheets in the wash before I continue with the cleaning. Before I start cleaning, I need to make my DIY alcohol cleaner. I just mix 70% rubbing alcohol with water and I will add a few drops of lavender essential oil. It is a natural cleaner, but you still need to keep your windows open when you are using it. I set myself 20 minutes for the kitchen, which to me didn't seem enough as I always spend quite a bit of time here to clean up. So obviously there is not going to be any deep cleaning involved, but I still have quite a lot to do. The bins need to be emptied, I need to put clean dishes away, hand wash some dishes too, and also I need to quickly clean our gas hob, scrub the sink, and floors need cleaning too, so yeah, I had quite a lot to do in a short amount of time. I always have to apologize for my hair, it just has mine on its own, this is actually straightened. And it always gets messier the more time goes on when I'm cleaning. I just want to take a minute and thank you to those who subscribed, it means the world. Please say hi in the comments, even the ones who are not subscribed. I would love to chat. Let me know where you spend the most time cleaning. For me, it's definitely the kitchen. The dishes just seem never ending. To clean the hob and all the work surfaces, I'm using the alcohol cleaner I made earlier. And also, I sprint down the sink with it before scrubbing. 
Having a timer definitely pushed me to work much faster. I still had to pause the timer when moving the camera. I just want to be completely honest with you. I actually haven't recorded some things as I forgot to press the record button as it was just a bit too much for my brain. Pressing that many buttons, the timer and the camera and I was trying to work as fast as possible at the same time. Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight Only you and me Pour your honey sickly sweet Keeps me coming, got me weak You could kill me, I'd still be Darling, you're number six feet deep Oh, it's real hard to break this habit It's like I want you 24-7 When I'm without you, boy, I feel safe Think you look better than my prescriptions Nothing feels as good as you do Last job in the kitchen is to clean the floor the kitchen floor is always covered with some spill, so first I will vacuum in here and then I will quickly clean it with my speed mop, which is filled with a mixture of water, dish soap and peppermint essential oil. Keeps me coming, got me weak. You could kill me, I'd still be. Darling, you're number six feet deep. Oh, it's real hard to break this habit. It's like I'm Moving on to the dining room, I didn't have as much to do here, but I set myself 20 minutes again. The table is covered with stuff that is not supposed to be here. There is some laundry I need to fold. I need to wipe down the table as it collects dust really quickly. And also I need to clean the floor here as well. Sunny June, I heard the birds were singing But I tossed and turned a feeling I can't explain I still had plenty of time, so I also wiped down the chairs before giving the floor a quick clean. With my friends do some damage to my brain. But then she came along, one smile and I Why do I gotta be so lucky? Why do you have to be so pure? Question all my good intentions. But with you, oh, I'm so sure. Tasting the fruit and smell the flowers. Just bad enough, and girl, I'm yours. Cause in the garden, that's your skin. I'll be dreaming, that's for sure. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why, tell me why you've been on my mind. When you stay, when you stay, when you stay, when you stay, just one more. That's the dining room nice and clean and I still had 6 minutes left. That's the wash all down so I'm just gonna put it on another spin cycle so the bedding dries super fast and I can put it back later on. Now I will tidy up the living room or shall I call it a playroom. There is thousands of Lego pieces everywhere as our son loves to play with Lego now. 
I will clear everything away so I can vacuum in here. I am sure I will still vacuum some of the small Lego pieces as it's almost impossible to find them all. While I am tidying up the living room, I'm going to tell you a bit what we got up to at the weekend. If you watched my last video, you know it was my fiance's birthday, it was his pick for all. We had some family over, luckily weather was nice, it wasn't very hot, but it was nice to sit outside in the garden. We had a barbecue and a cake I made for him. I will show you the cake at the end of the video so you can watch if you would like to see it. So yeah, we had a really good time, food was lovely and we've been lucky with the weather. It stayed dry all day. Only later on, we were still sitting in the garden after 10 o'clock when huge thunderstorm came, out of nowhere. Let me know what the weather is like where you are. can vacuum the living room rack after all the toys are away. I did manage to take them upstairs to my boys room as well. It was like a little workout session running up and down the stairs few times. After I finish tidying up the living room, I'm going to hang the bedding outside. There is nothing better than fresh bedding when you get in the bed at night. Speed into past time, yeah. Gravity won't let you go, no. Gravity won't let you slow, slow down. I know how to I'm setting myself just 10 minutes to clean the downstairs toilet. I have everything I need in my cleaning caddy and also I keep everything I need here in the cabinet under the sink. I have a fresh towel there and a sponge that I use for cleaning the sink. As always I'm just pouring a little bit of vinegar and bicarbonate of soda in the toilet and I will just leave it to work for a few minutes. The bathmatic sponge has two sides, you can use the white side to scrub down the sink and the other side is great for removing the excess water.
I still had a bit of time left and I saw someone using the stamps to stamp toilet paper instead of using the tap, which is ideal for our downstairs toilet as we have the waterfall tap here and I always have to go and use the kitchen tap. And it turned out really well, I love it. I open the bathroom window and I'm just going to repeat the process in the upstairs toilet. I'm just going to use the vinegar and bicarbonate of soda to clean the toilet and the alcohol DIY cleaner to clean on the outside of the toilet. And then I will scrub the sink as well. I can't explain. To clean the bathroom sink, I'm using my scrub daddy wand and the elbow grease sponge. It works the same like scrub daddy, it is hard in cold water and if you run it under warm water, it goes soft. I couldn't resist stamping the toilet paper in the upstairs toilet as well. <laughs> I'm just going to sweep the floor here as it's a bit easier than bringing the Dyson and the camera here. That was the 10 minutes up. I needed an extra couple of minutes to clean the floor. The despair is nowhere to be found in this all my life. And I'm well aware that I can't keep you So I'll dream about you After I cleaned almost the whole house, I didn't want to leave the front porch messy. So I set myself 10 minutes to clean it as well. So I'm just going to quickly vacuum in here, obviously put all the shoes away, and I'm going to mop the floors here as well. Can we dance in the moonlight? Hold hands if the mood's right. Make plans to the sunrise and sleep till noon. I'll take you to the beach. Get our toes wet and leave after sunset. And I would do it all again. Cause I don't want my day to end with always running in circles. Try to make up my mind. Should I ask you? I'm too scared to ask, but I'll probably ask you this time. Spend a couple of hours, okay, a couple of days, trying to choose where I wanna take you and rehearsing what I'm gonna say. Cause I have been planning for quite a long while. I was impressed of how much I got done. It really pushed me to work really fast and it helped me to stay on task and not to get distracted doing some different tasks. It was a bit of a workout though, to be honest. This is just a little bit later, but I thought I would still add it to the video. There is nothing like a freshly made bed with clean sheets. Get our toes wet and leave after sunset And I would do it all again Cause I don't want my day to end with Boy, you're running in circles You're always on my mind I'm wondering when you will tell me That you really wanna be mine Spent a couple of hours <laughs> And a couple of days Thinking that maybe I read the wrong signs And that you just don't feel the same way Cause I have been waiting for quite a long time And patiently giving you reasons to find The courage to say what you're wanting to do I just wanna hear this from you 
can we dance in the moonlight? Hold hands if the mood right. Make plans till the sunrise and sleep till noon. I'll take you to the beach, get our toes wet and leave after sunset. And I would do it all again 'cause I don't want my day to end with. To decorate the cake, I'm using fresh fruit and some herbs I got from the garden. I made a chocolate ganache cake. I haven't recorded that as I don't really know if that's something you are interested in. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so I can make more videos like this for you. Hope you have an amazing day. Bye!